But I will say this, David Talbert, your movies from Almost Christmas, Baggage Claim, First Sunday, NAACP Award winner. You've been in the business a long time and have given many people opportunities to be in front of that camera and behind the camera. Man, you are a legend. How long we been knowing each other? Oh my God, David! Before before you was you know big time, you know what I'm saying. Before you was big time, we was up in Baltimore trying to figure out what life was. Right. Like. You was going to Morgan State University. Did you have a bus pass back then? I did. I did. <laughs> I, did. I, did. I had a skateboard because I couldn't even afford the bus pass. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those were good times. You know what I'm saying. What do, What do you miss about uh, Baltimore? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I could have answered that. I knew that was coming. Baltimore was a wonderful city. And they've been wonderful to you, Mr. Talbot. Take it back right now. <laughs> All them damn plays you didn't done in Baltimore. You take it back. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. Some of my lifelong friends are from Baltimore. Tim Watts, who's like yes. an uncle to me, and who, who we still talk uh, once a week. Um, legendary jock and uh, and Morgan State, of course. You know, you know, you can't get over that. But but really, all my friends were really at, at Morgan. You know, and they're all over the country. You know, but uh, but you shot a movie at Lexington Market before, didn't you? Uh, no, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I won't even go to Lexington Market anymore. I bootlegged the movie at Lexington. <laughs> 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 they sold him his own movie at Lexington Mark. Hey, hey man, you seen next Christmas? <laughs> I have to tell you, movie, don't you? <laughs> Lexington Market has some of the best food in oh, the man. world. You talk about it a lot. When are you gonna go back to to Baltimore and go to Lexington Market? <laughs> <laughs> I went a few years ago, Rick, and I took my husband down there and had to, you know, let him taste the best fried chicken. Did you sit down and eat or did you take it to go? (laughs) I had to get the hell out of there. (laughs) It was too much going on in there. The back of the day, you could sit down and eat. Did you sit down? (laughs) Yeah. It's not quite the same, but I know they're trying to improve things, okay? Yeah. Get get David's prequel, his prequel uh, DVD movie. I got the hook up the beginning. (laughs) (laughs) So how's the family, wife? I mean, you know, we've been shut down, but I I know that you out here rolling, babe. Well, the family's good. Uh, We 22 years of marriage. We celebrated. uh, Congratulations, man. Take some notes. uh, Take some notes, George. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, David. Oh, yeah. yeah, And uh, she's threatening to re-up, so it looks like this may be (laughs) good for you. (laughs) <laughs> so, well, she don't know what she's getting getting herself into. She no, knows, she uh, don't. No, she don't. Yeah. But I'm dropped this big movie that she can see, so she's thinking this may be the one. So <laughs> like, yeah. are you guys still working together? I mean, she's all a part of it. Oh, she's the lead producer. Oh, she's the okay. lead producer on the film, and so it's it's the biggest budgeted film that a black woman has been lead producer on. That's incredible. And so this is uh, original original film. So um, so yeah. So she's doing it. She's doing it big time. And uh, she we moved to London. We shot it in London. So we, we wow. lived there for we lived there for eight months shooting nice. the, shooting the film. Nice. And creative. Went to British school and everything. He went to one in private. He had on his his British outfit like Larry wow. Potter. You know, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Larry you said, was a cousin. <laughs> what was the name? Larry Larry Potter. Larry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry. Now, now, David, we we can see David as y'all are hearing us. David, we can't let this get by, bro. You look great. What you been doing, man? Yeah. Been, been good for you, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Natural juice and berries. Natural juice and berries. You know, uh, it's 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 it's. Uh, I attribute everything to uh, my wife first of all because. Uh, I was looking real ashy when we met. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty years ago, we met. I was looking older than I do now. No, no <laughs> doubt, for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I was dressing in Detroit. All my friends were Detroit, so we were dressing like uh, we were shopping at the Broadway, and I was wearing, you know, mustard colored suits and coat. <laughs> Some Chicago stuff. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. I was, I was like, wait a minute, nothing wrong with mustard. Yeah. Now, <laughs> 
<laughs> look, look, look. And so she came in and changed everything. But then having a seven year old son, you know, who 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 I chase around and always Man. play, always wants to run. And I'm like, you don't realize I am your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> the grandfather. Yeah, that's right. why I'm your grandfather. He just don't really know it yet. Well, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> yeah. No, but Rick's right. You are pulling a pulling a Benjamin Buttons on us right there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been knowing you 30, 40 years, and boy, you ain't never look younger. His cousin Bobby Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, man, what 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 is it, what is it like, and how is that dynamic um, artistically working with uh, work with working with your spouse? You know, and and does that ever get a, a, a little tensed on on set? Hell yeah! Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you you got to have your really good fluffy pillow. <laughs> you know, on the couch more times than not, and that's where I live. And I just I, I imported me some feathers. I think from <laughs> the best feathers. But you know, you know, you know, it's it's anytime you with a woman that um, has known you for as long as my wife has known me, mm -hmm. she is my biggest fan and my most ardent critic also because she wants the best. Uh, out of me, best cool. out of us. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know, as a man, we buck the system. That's our job to buck the system. But she knows me. Uh, she knows how to get the best out of me, mm -hmm. how to inspire me. And sometimes it don't feel good. Sure. But at the end, when the lights go down and the and the movie starts or the play starts, then you're you're appreciative. Sure. What does that feel like? Both of you, both of you are creatives, especially in, and they're, they are your, they're your muse, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have something, you feel so good about it. And George and David, for both of you, and she goes, uh -uh. no, nah, it's not it. Oh, oh, when I wrote, when I wrote my first novel, Baggage Claim, I was like, baby, uh, uh, you know, this is it. I finished, I finished the novel. I went, I said, she went to room and read it. Uh, and, and she was in there a little bit longer than, than I expected. <laughs> she was in there for days. But I'm like, not, not, it don't take you that damn long. <laughs> <laughs> so she comes out and she says, uh, oh, baby, you know, I I respect all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, we go. Go. here we go. <laughs> well, what do you think of this, sweetheart? Well, you know, there are there are words on this page. <laughs> <laughs> there are character names. Right. And she says, no, she says, sweetheart, that's not it. She says, you gotta make it sensual and you gotta make it more, you know, uh, uh romantic and intimate. So what she did was uh, she she got a Maxwell CC. <laughs> she, <laughs> she did, and she got me a bottle of wine. Right. And she said, "You stay in here until you 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 know figure it out." So we wow. Well, and I had my wine, and after a few, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and I came out, and I rewrote it after about a week, and uh, and she read it. And she said, "I loved it." So I mean, oh, that's just, that's just kind of our. And Our what a great movie mm -hmm. it was, okay? You right. remember all the players in it, what happened. So I applaud your wife. Actually, we don't need to do the interview with you. Where's she at? Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Meditating. Right. <laughs> you know, but it, it's funny, you know, because I have a, a woman that's a little uh, a little younger, which is 20 years younger than I am. Mm -hmm. But the, it's the same thing that happens. It's a level of honesty. You can't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me say, mm, right? right. Yeah, Pause for one second, man. Let us let that breathe for a second, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, go ahead, David. Go for it. But I mean, that has nothing to do. Yes, it does. <laughs> we can't hear you, George. We can't hear you, George. George, mute. George, your screen. Your screen. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Uh, hear one, you. one of the things that I thought that was um, that was similar is just the level of honesty that happens. You know, mm -hmm. a level of honesty and trust that you have from from your mate, you know, and if they say, you know what, this is not something they, they want the best for you. You know, I think it comes out a little bit more blunt, you know, with, with, uh, uh, with 
<laughs> <laughs> exactly. We know exactly. how to be soft I with it too. That maybe you might want to do this, and I like it, but there's some area. The black woman, oh, that ain't it. Right, yeah. right. Absolutely. <laughs> that ain't it. That's it, man. You serious? Get on, get back yeah. in there. <laughs> I write my plays. I would write my early plays. She talked about the play. She talked about my mama. She talked about everything. And then, you know what I'm saying? They will Absolutely. let me know. You know, where they really don't like nothing, but but it's for your good. Yeah, you know? absolutely. We want to see the best in you. Absolutely. 22 years. I love it. All right. So we have a Christmas movie. And I could, um, I was watching TV the other day. Already Christmas movies are out. And you got some um, heavy hitters in this movie, David. Break it down. It's, what is it? Jingle uh, Jangle? What is it? Jingle Jangle? Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. And it's, nice. uh, it's, uh, it's it's one of the biggest budgeted uh, live action films, original films, you know, ever with with us starring in it. And and you know, we shot it in London, and and uh, it's a period piece set in the 1800s. I build a world called Cobbleton. Um, we uh, we brought in costume costume designer, two time Oscar winning costume designer, who brought in Victorian era styles and mixed it with uh, patterns from Africa. So it's um um. So it's all of that. If we built these elaborate sets, it's CGI, visual effects. Oh, wow. But at the at the at the bottom of it all, though, it's a it's a heart of musical with heart and great songs, um, and and great actors. I mean, Forrest Whitaker, top of the food chain, top yeah, of, on the Mount Rushmore of actors, and and Felicia Rashad, the goddess, you know, the, yes. queen, Absolutely. the queen, Miss Felicia Rashad. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, Keegan-Michael Key, who, you know, one of the funniest cats you want to meet. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and um, uh, Anika Noni Rhodes, who, of course, Tony, another Tony Award winner, yes. who was in The Princess and the Frog and Dreamgirls and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we discovered this beautiful uh, young lady, Madeline Mills, to play Journey, to play mm -hmm. the lead in the film. Um, uh, from she's from New York, uh, and and now she's from down. She's from Atlanta actually, and then she moved to New York to do Broadway, and then she moved to London to star in the film. So you know, nice. great music, great music by uh, Phil Lawrence, who wrote all the Bruno Mars songs. He was in Bruno Mars and wrote all the Bruno all the wow. Bruno Mars hits. Eight Grammys he has, mm. um, and then and then John Legend, of course, who wrote the songs and produced it with us as well. Yeah. God, no David. Brainer. That's a huge budget. Good God. <laughs> man, man, my boy, my boy, my boy Bootsy, who I went to Morgan with, came over. Uh, he, he uh, before the pandemic started, he came and saw an early cut. And I've been knowing this guy for like 30 years. He says, oh, son, son, damn, this is like a real movie. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to not that stuff you were making before, man. This is value. <laughs> He's like, no, son. No, no, no. This is like a real movie. <laughs> and we, we get so offended when people, you know, compare our old work to the new work. I'm like, but we want to grow. That's the whole part of it, man. <laughs> wow. Hey, That's David, beautiful. what else do you want to do? I mean, you've just been doing so phenomenal and you keep growing. What else is for you? And who have you not worked with in one of your films that you like to at some point? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, there's always a Den Denzel is always on that. <laughs> Denzel's it, right? <laughs> Denzel Washington, you take it. But I tell you, working with Forrest Whitaker has taught me so much because you're talking about the top of the food chain. I mean, mm -hmm. you're talking about a brilliant man. And not only in front of the camera, but he's a director. A lot of people may not know that he directed mm -hmm. William Denzel. Uh, and so um, he's a brilliant eye behind the camera and brilliant in front of the camera. So, I mean, that's pretty much you know, top of the food chain yeah. for, for me. And, um, but you know, wh whoever, whoever fits the characters that I continue to write, um, uh, stories for, I love to work with, you know, and it's just, just a really great time. We're getting a lot of really great response from the film. The reviews are really glowing. We're at a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Wow. hundred wow. percent. So, you know, you know, it nice. feels feel pretty good. I used to think that number of hot on uh, rotten uh, tomatoes was a bad number. I thought, I thought it meant like a hundred percent rotten. A hundred percent of people hate your movie. Right, but, right. But you know, it's the first time I've been on Rotten Tomatoes because they they weren't too kind to some of my other movies. Right, you, know? Right. <laughs> you, know? you know, the things that people can say, critics can say, 
really uh, creatively and cleverly. I mean, they cut you to the your core, to the white people. You right. know, those <laughs> things they say. But 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 thank God we've been getting some really good reviews. So we need to pull the family together on what day to watch so and what time? This Friday. This Friday. Okay. This Friday. Okay. And oh, this Friday. Oh, yeah, even better. This Friday. This Friday. Fantastic. Yeah. So okay, it's so for the whole family, really. You know, it's for generations. The whole family can sit and watch it together. Okay, so is this, um, you know, since we're going through the COVID period, I this is a digital download, Netflix? What yeah, is it's Netflix. This is Netflix. So, Netflix. So, so, yeah, so watch it on your account or your cousin's account. <laughs> Somebody just watch it. <laughs> well, they about to cut that out. Me... <laughs> you, know, you know, a whole, a whole neighborhood got one step in. Right. <laughs> like, right. you know what I'm saying? Not for long. <laughs> now, now, David, I, I always wanted to know, and people say, so how, how are you, when you pour so much money into the film and you put it on Netflix, how do you get your money back? Is it through subscription? How do you get your money back? Well, you know, um, Netflix is is a studio. It's a it's a global studio. So mm-hmm. um, uh, um, it on November thirteenth, it gets uh, it hits one hundred and ninety two countries oh, and okay. thirty two different languages. Right. Uh, so it's it's a it's it's global. So Netflix is uh, you know most of our movies. I would go to, you know, Atlanta, D.C., Detroit and all that to make sure that, you know, my, my folks see it. But not only is this for our folks, but this is for the world community, too. You know, when I was, mm-hmm. I was talking to people in Brazil and South Africa, Morocco and France and Ireland and and as well as the state. So so what Netflix, they want they wanted this movie um uh, really badly because it's they wanted something represented what the world looked like. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And, and so for the holidays, really, there's only really it's only wh- white movies. You know, it's only stuff. That's true. You can't sit down with your family if you look like us and see anybody that looks like you in some of our favorite movies. Right. For the yeah. So they understood that um, you know we want to see some some people look like you when you sit down and have Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> And now you get a chance to, but it looks like the world. The world, the world is of color. Mm-hmm. Nice. Wow. It looks like the people of the world. Woo, That's awesome, brother. We'll is be this, watching on it, Friday, honey. Is it, this is almost, um, you designed it on the date, David, because I'm looking at an old email from the last time I interviewed you. The, the first time I interviewed you was on, it was on November 16th. You were releasing Almost Christmas on November 11th. You still got that email. I'm looking wow. at it here, right here. Good God. Wow. Let me tell you something. My heart was pounding. Because <laughs> when we released Almost Christmas, uh, Trump had just been elected three days. Uh, uh, now imagine me going around trying to <laughs> try to <talk laughs> about <that story>. Nobody <laughs> cared about Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what nobody feel would be everybody like, <laughs> Christmas ain't no damn Christmas. What are you talking about? <laughs> Christmas been canceled for four years. I didn't even plan it, but when we put the movie into development and everything and started going, the release date dropped again. Uh-huh. Wow. A week before, a week after the election, I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> now it's the reverse. Now it's the reverse. Now this, it couldn't be a, a much, it couldn't be a more needed movie right now, you know, and we are very much in healing healing mode, and you've been a, a master at doing that and, and capturing that and some feel good and bring yeah. it out of people. So, man, you know, you already know how I feel about you, man. I just... Wish you so much success, you know, and it just, it's the timing is just perfect for this. I'm very much looking forward to this film. Yeah, absolutely. I, I am too. And, and after seeing like uh, Kamala Harris, um, you know, vice president elect, that, that, that black girl magic. Yep. Yes. And the film's got a little beautiful black girl who is STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, math, who's, you know, scientists and inventors. So it's black girl magic, you know, all over the world right now. And I just think it's a beautiful time to celebrate what is um, beautiful about us, what's magical about us. Um, and, and and I'm happy that it's coming out at this time. I mean, it's been a jacked up year for, for all of us in many, yeah. many ways. 
but uh, we get a chance to celebrate and sing and, and, and at least have a moment to feel good. And I'm hoping the movie can do that for, for, Absolutely. for the world. All right, so y'all, it is called Jingle Jangle, Jangle. A Christmas Journey, November 13th on Netflix, Forrest Whitaker, Felicia Rashad, Anika Noni Rose, and more. The one, the only, David E. Talbert. Yes. Talbert. Thank you, David. (laughs) Yo, yo, yo. This has been great. And I tell you, I tell you, this is the best way to wake up. I didn't even realize we were going to be on with all of us this morning. It's the best way to wake up this morning. (laughs) Friends friends and having good fun. So thank you. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. Bless you, brother. All the best to you, brother. Love you, bro. I'll hit you up later. Okay. All right. All right. All right. right. So I can call me. I will. I love you. I love you, too.